Now the third one that is flux growth method. So a flux is a solvent that remains molten at high temperatures and facilitates the dissolution or and crystallization of the desired material. So if we take a solid, if we take a solid and if we increase the temperature and after certain temperature this melts, this melts without without breaking into different constituents, this just melts, then we call it flux. And this can help to uh, dissolve, this can help in the dissolution and crystallization of the desired material. Okay, uh, ideal, this method that is flux growth method is ideal for materials with high melting points or when slow cooling is required for high quality single crystal growth. Okay, now the key steps involved in this process that is flux that is flux growth method are the first one is mixing the solute and flux so a flux material should be taken and the solute should be solute should be mixed to it that is combine the solute and flux in a crucible okay typical ratios uh, typical ratios range from 1 is to 10 to 1 is to 100 that means the flux should be taken in a large amount the solute should be taken in a small amount okay uh, to ensure sufficient dissolution. Similarly, the second step is heating. So heat the mixer to a temperature above the melting point of the flux. That means the flux should melt, but below the decomposition point of the solute. Solute should not decompose uh, at any further temperature. Okay. So uh, the flux should be melted, but it should not be heated to very high temperature where the solute actually get decomposed. Okay, so maintain this temperature for a sufficient period ensure complete dissolution of the solute. So if we maintain that temperature at which the flux is melted for a sufficient temperature for a sufficient amount of time, then we can ensure the dissolution of the solute. Solute will, solute will dissolute, dissolute. Now the third step is cooling. So slowly cool the molten solution at a controlled rate. So slowly the molten solution is cooled. You can see over here 0 0.1 to 10 degrees Celsius per hour. The slow sorry, the cooling speed should be very low. Okay, this allows the solute to crystallize out of the solution as the temperature decreases. So as the temperature decreases, the solute will crystallize out. They will form a crystal. Okay, the solute will form crystal. Now the fourth step is harvesting the crystal. So once the solution cools to room temperature, separate the crystal from the solidifi solidified flux. A solidified flux which, which was formed by reducing the temperature, uh, the crystal should be separated from that. Okay, this can be done by, so there are two steps, there are two methods by which harvesting of crystals can be done. They are uh, dissolving the flux dissolving the flux in a solvent that does not affect the crystal. So this flux with the solute or crystal is dissolved in a dissolved in a solvent where the flux get so uh, dissolved but the solute is not dissolved. Now another method is mechanical separation that is gen uh, gently breaking the flux. The flux is taken out and we break it gently and extract the formed crystal. Similarly the fifth one is post growth processing. So clean the crystals using appropriate solvents or acids to remove any residual flux. So uh, the extracted crystals is uh, the extracted crystal is cleaned with an appropriate solvent or acid to remove the residual flux. Inspect the crystals for quality and size. That is the last step to be done. Now there are certain advantages of this method. They are suitable for growing high quality crystals for refractory materials, allows for controlled growth rates, reducing the likelihood of defects. So there won't be a lot of defects applicable to a wide range of system, including oxides, silicates and materials. So these are some of the crystal, some of the advantages of this method and that is flux growth method.